Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to Blondie Reels, the storyteller. Today, I will clarify a dream and sentiment film called it a boy-girl thing. Spoilers ahead watch out and fare thee well. The film starts with Woody and Nellie. They are neighbors and childhood friends who go to a similar secondary school. One evening, Woody plays music at a boisterous volume, which drives Nellie irritated and crazy with him. Since Woody would rather not turn the music down, she becomes irate and promptly shuts the window. Sadly, her garments stall out in the window, making Woody see Nella's naked body. They have totally different propensities. Woody is a famous varsity football player, while Nellie is a girl who loves writing but lacks interactive abilities. They despise one another and are continually in debate. When Woody needs to go to school, he is gotten by his companion Harry while Nellie strolls to school since she missed the school bus. While strolling, Woody and Harry purposefully pass a puddle of water, which made Nella's body soaked. Nella's appearance looked tousled when she showed up at the school. Therefore, Woody's sweetheart, Brianna snickers at her in the school lobbies. Woody additionally pretends to apologize to her. Nellie in the end chooses to ignore them. In the study hall, Woody inactively types profane things on Nella's PC that makes a loud noise, making every one of the understudies in the class chuckle at her. Afterward, their class goes on a school outing to an antiquated museum. Woody and Nellie are compelled to cooperate on a task. As a result of it, they rapidly start contending before a sculpture of the old sculpture. As they argue, the sculpture casts a spell upon them. Around nighttime, the spell deals with their bodies, making them awaken in one another's bodies. The following morning, when they awaken, they alarm in light of the fact that their bodies have swapped last night. They are likewise exceptionally mistaken for one another's propensities. When they show up at school, they quickly fault each other for the body swap, yet agree to profess to be the other individual until they can figure out how to switch back. Right away, they appear to succeed, yet immediately return to arguing when they each feel the other is misrepresenting them in the opposite body. For example, Woody addressed a question strangely from the instructor. Afterward, Nellie likewise embarrasses Woody's body in the cafeteria by dropping his food. Unavoidably, she needs to join the football training since Woody is the head of his group. However, she doesn't have the foggiest idea of how to treat, which makes the mentor scolds her for the horrible performance on the pitch. The following day, incidentally, their bodies are still swapped and have not returned. Woody sees Nellie as wearing neat garments, showing up to look dorky, which baffles him. He is considerably more baffled after he catches wind of how Nellie fails Woody's football training the earlier day. As payback, Woody dresses in improper and provocative clothing to school the next day. He likewise purposefully exacerbates Nellie's reputation worse. After school, Nellie, for revenge, breaks up with Brianna, likely stirring up a lot of disillusionment for Woody. Besides, the embarrassing competition proceeds when Woody drives off with a, a biker kid, Nikki, and makes Nellie think she will lose her virginity. Nonetheless, Woody thinks that it feels so off-base since he's a man inside a lady's body and not totally a lady. He then chooses to leave Nikki. The following morning, rumors are being spread around the school by Nikki about his night with Nellie. Whenever she hears about it, she becomes exceptionally upset. Soon, Woody observes Nellie at the school quarter. He admits that he didn't really lose Nellie's virginity and that everybody was just spreading Nikki's falsehoods. In any case, Nellie is still let down thus Woody chooses to go up against Nikki. Incidentally, Woody can't battle him since he is inside Nella's body. However brilliantly, Nellie runs up and smacks Nikki right upside the head, forcing him to concede every one of his untruths. Thereafter, Woody is stressed that his football match will be held soon. Out of nowhere, they understand that before their bodies were swapped, they argued before an old sculpture that ends up being an antiquated Aztec god, Tezcatlipoca. Nellie and Woody arrive at a truce and they quickly head down to the museum. Tragically, they neglect to get back to their unique bodies. In the wake of defying the sculpture, they then understand that they must assist each other in two significant forthcoming occasions. Nellie should figure out how to play football for Woody's upcoming match and Woody should find out with regards to poetry and writing for Nellie's forthcoming meeting. Soon thereafter, Nellie is becoming inebriated at a party with Harry, while Woody is stuck at a sleep party with Nellie's companions paying attention to all the tattle about himself. 
he is additionally encircled by nail polish, nightwear, and gets a bikini wax. Afterward, Woody deals with Nellie, who is dizzy from the previous evening's headache. In the wake of getting to know one another, they become exceptionally partial to one another and begin to see each other better. The night prior to the meeting and the game, they agree to go to the school party together as not a date. On the day of the meeting and match, Woody goes for the meeting. He at first messes things up and is requested to leave however, he begins to discuss poetry and rap, which intrigues and shocks the questioner. From that point onward, he goes to the football matchup and observes Nellie run in the triumphant score. In the end seconds, a college enrollment specialist observes her great presentation and needs to converse with her later. After the game, they compliment each other on their successes. They earnestly have excused one another and said comparable words as when they were arguing before the antiquated sculpture. Soon after this, the spell lifts and they at last revisitation of their unique bodies. The scene wraps up with Woody being kissed by Brianna and Nellie returning home since she is extremely upset seeing it. Soon Woody attempts to welcome Nellie to the school party, however, he is halted by her mom who sees Woody's family as uneducated. Nellie then gets an acknowledgement letter from the university implying that her meeting, which was finished by Woody and her body prior, was effective. Nonetheless, she is as yet annoyed with Woody and chooses not to go to the school party. In the meantime, Nella's dad sits down to chat with her on the porch about Woody during which she admits she genuinely enjoys him and her dad shocks her with a dress and shoes for the party. Then again, Woody and Brianna are chosen as the school king and queen. As they get ready to move, Woody out of nowhere sees Nellie and both admit their love for one another straight away. Eventually, they leave the school together and share a kiss before their homes. As their dad secretly supports them together. The next day, Nellie lets her mom know that she is requiring a year's vacation prior to going to the university and she jumps into Woody's vehicle as they drive off together. Hope you like the video for more videos like this please subscribe to our channel, it will help us in growing. Thanks for watching.